How do you do? My name is Graham Murphy. I'm a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. And today we're going to have a look at the Hyoki 3554 battery tester. Right, in this instance we're going to test a, uh, a full battery set here. I've got one battery on charge. Makes no difference whether they're in char being charged or in circuit, etc. What we're doing is measuring the internal impedance of the batteries. Now, when you measure the internal impedance, um, we've got to determine a failure level. Now, what we've done is the fact I've logged into the internet, I've looked up this particular battery type on the internet and I found a document from Panasonic. The document from Panasonic indicates that the um, fully charged new battery should be, have an internal resistance of 11 milliohms and cut off voltage for the operation is 10.5 volts. Now, looking at this 11 milliohm feature, we notice that um, in the manual of the 3554 when we look at that, it says here the fact that uh, uh, under conditions of battery wear, internal resistance rises to 1.5 to 2.2 times the initial value. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to program up the um, tester to indicate a fail level from the battery so I can go through and very quickly test them. And the fail level I'm going to set will be twice this value. Now, over time, one may modify this figure, it may, uh, you may find it's appropriate or inappropriate, but in this case it's a good place to start is twice the internal resistance of a new battery. Okay, turn the instrument on, I hit the power switch. Instrument turns on. Now if you want to just make an instantaneous reading, um, you've got to set the appropriate voltage range and the, um, the internal impedance range that you want to use, you have to hit those. But in this case, what I'm going to do is set it up to make a series of measurements. So I hold this comp key and I hold it for three seconds. Right, I want to set a particular level. Now I'm going to go enter. Now we've got to set the range. So we're looking for 22 milliohm, so a 30 milliohm range would be okay. Voltage, we want to set, we're measuring a 12 volt battery. If we're measuring a six, we might set it that to six. But in this case, the 60 volt range is adequate. I go enter because I'm happy with those. Now the pass limit in this case I'm going to set to 22 milliohms. I go enter. Now it has a warning limit. Um, I'm going to set that to 20. And the voltage I'm going to set to 10.5 volts because that's any, if a battery's, uh, one of these 12 volt batteries has got down to that level it's had it. I go enter. Now it's all set up. Now what I've got it um, set to is um, hold MO is set on and we'll just go through the test procedure now. The, we happen to have some readings from a, a, a thing we've done previously so if I hit the read button we could scroll through and see those but if we press, press the clear we can clear all by going enter and uh, that means we've removed all the previous measurements right there's no data in there. Now so we've got the thing programmed up and ready to go. Now what we do is just simply put the probes on and that says pass, okay, and it will pop to hold. So I push the memo key, that's stored. Next one, pass. Oops, hang on a sec, I didn't hold it long enough. Pass, goes automatically to hold, thank you. Hit the memo key, next one. Oops, hang on, I didn't put that on properly. There we go, faulty. Memo key. Next one. Another faulty, just. Hold, memo key. Now, we've stored all the readings. We can go back by hitting the read function. We can scroll through, see which, um, which particular, what the readings were. We can download these results and we can compare them. Now, one may refine this, uh, that limit that I set uh, somewhat arbitrarily to 22. It was based around the initial document that I had there. But you may find that you, know, you refine that measurement if you like. Um, and you may find that you just simply work through and you don't bother to record it because you just simply look at the numbers and you go, yeah, that's bad, good, good, bad, etc. You get a feel for it. Very easy to use instrument, very quick to check your batteries. You've got a whole pile of batteries to test. Very fast, easy instrument to use. Hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments field. 
and if you wish to you could uh, you could sc subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have a look in the description there's a few other links there that might be useful to you thank you very much